this is so cute. It's completely lined with the coach. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Jillian here. Today we are going thrifting but we're thrifting for one of my curated thrift boxes. A few of you guys have actually sent me this request on Instagram, on YouTube, on my email. You guys want to see me actually curate a full entire box and show you everything in it. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I was not doing it because I wanted the people who received the boxes to be surprised and the videos were going up before they were receiving their boxes. But in this particular case, they're gonna actually get their box before this video goes up. So I'm gonna show you everything that's in their box as well as their Pinterest board that they sent me so you can see the thought process and what was in my mind when I was curating this box for them. So let me move it like right here. This is the Pinterest board of the box that I am working on today. Her style is very conservative. She loves neutrals. There are tons of scarves on her board. She loves layering because I can see in the pictures there's a lot of layering going on here. And I do already have a few pieces for this box, but we are going to try to complete this box today. So this is the box that we are thrifting. I'm going to show you at the end of this video every single piece that I put into her box so you guys can see see what it's like and how important it is to build a Pinterest board because I do still get requests where there is no Pinterest board and I absolutely need a Pinterest board in order to make the box the best for you. So that is what we are doing today. I am in front of the thrift store. I'm probably going to be going to more than one thrift store today. So yeah, let's get going and start thrifting this box. I am so excited. I haven't actually been in the thrift store in like three weeks, which is mind blowing for me because I typically am in the thrift store at least a couple times a week, but I have been curating my own wardrobe and trying to make sure that I'm not adding things that I don't actually need. So I have been laying off of the thrifting for myself, but I am more than happy to thrift for you. So let's go. <laughs> sort through some of the things that I pulled which I'm going to show you she had a lot of neutral tones balloon sleeves voluminous sleeves on her board and I noticed she had some pleated skirts I couldn't find a pleated mini skirt in a in a color that I thought she might like but I'm going to show you all the things that I pulled I have not decided which things I'm actually going to get but we'll discuss that at the end of the video so first and foremost this isn't one I'm getting for her but these are these beautiful glass buttons I can tell this is a designer um, I just can't see the label but I'm getting this just for the buttons it's only $6.99 and so I want to take off the buttons and be able to use it for something else now I saw this and thought this might be really pretty for her because she has a lot of sweaters on her board however I'm not sure this is 100% her style so I still have to think about that I also saw this and these are these really wide leg pants she had a lot of things like this on her board just not in colors that were this bright so again one of those things that I have to look over her board and really see if I want to take the risk on if she's gonna like that this is only from H&M but she had a lot of shirts that had this on it and this color is 
similar to a lot of tones that she had so she didn't say anything about not liking animal prints and i think this would be a really cool just layering piece so we might get that this is 95 percent silk five percent spandex and she had a lot of rich tones like this on her board so i'm almost 100 percent certain i'm gonna get her this i also spotted this she didn't have any leather jackets on her board but this was such a good price that i actually might just get this for maybe another future box or me if i can fit it <laughs> this is another really cool voluminous large cream sweater i'm going to look at her board to see if i feel like this would go with any of the things that she had kind of picked because i feel like this is big enough to wear as like a sweater dress which i think could be really cute for her but we'll see now this is another one that has like ruffles and a lot of detail and i just think that this could be so cute like if you can kind of like see the vision so we're gonna see if you know i want to take the risk on her getting this this is another just simple sweater which i think i'm not gonna get because she did have a lot of sweaters but i just don't really feel like that's worth it and then i came across this really beautiful neutral tone cotton dress which is very similar to some of the colors that she had but she would definitely have to layer with this because it is see-through but this is the brand so we're gonna kind of like think about that and then this i thought was also really pretty but i have to look at the colors on a board i don't even feel like she had anything like this on her board so we might just pass and then this one i really want to get for her because i feel like this goes with the theme it's just a little bit more pricey so it'll kind of eat into her budget a little bit but i feel like she would love it and look at the original price so i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna get her this one and then I also saw this really pretty J. Crew. I think this would be really cute for layering. However, I just don't know if it's not modest enough for her, like if it's not long enough for her, because she didn't have a ton of mini dresses, but I think that this, for instance, layered over, let me see. Let's say that was a really cute blouse that she could layer this over, or even actually, if she wanted to like layer it over something like this, I think it could be cool. So I don't know, we're gonna have to decide. And then this sheer number I thought could also be really cute, but this is the same price as this. And I'm more certain she's gonna like this than this, which she would have to add a layer underneath it because it's sheer. So gonna make some hard choices, but that's what I got from this store so far. See, I just wanna show you guys this. I think this is so pretty but she doesn't have sweaters on her board like this. This is just like a personal opinion that I feel like she could really like love something like this. And it has two ties too, I only tied, or actually three, so you can kind of like tie it all the way down. So I think this is super cute. I really wanna get this for her because I feel like even if it's not something she put on the board, it'll get her to kind of style and think outside of the box. So I think I'm definitely gonna include this for her. I got four items for her out of there and i do want to add some scarves if i can find any because she did have a lot of scarves on her board so i'm headed now to the next location to try to see if i can find her some scarves and i would really love to find her a pleated skirt similar to some of the ones that she pinned on her board so that's also on my list and then i want to try to find her a top to layer under a dress that I already have for her box and if I can find that in this next thrift store that would be amazing because then her box would more or less be complete but yeah I'm gonna go to this next door I'll show you guys what I find and then at the end of this I will build her box with you guys and show you everything that I have included into her box this is so cute. This is so pretty. Real suede, Newport News. So nice. This isn't on her list, but very nice. This is such a beautiful bag. It just has some beading 
missing in certain places, but if not for that, this is so cool. I would actually probably snag this, but today I'm not, but I just wanted to show it. If it wasn't for the fact that this was stained right here and had a few spots, I feel like this would be perfect for her. But um, even though I could try to attempt to wash it with the type of material that it is, I don't really know that all the stains would come out. So for that reason, I'm going to pass, but this would have been a perfect add-on to her box. This little silk shred could also be really perfect. It seems to be in amazing condition. I just kind of look at her board again to see if she had things like this on there, but I feel like she did. So we're going to see. This Pierucci top is really cute. It just has stains on it, but it's 100% silk. If it wasn't for the stains, this would be so cool. But alas, it has stains, so we're not gonna do that. I'm trying to find her some knit sweaters as well because I just feel like she had a lot of those on her board, like knit sweater vests and things like that. So I'm gonna try to go into that section next, but ooh, look at this white leather skirt. Pretty stained, but pretty dope. This is so cute. It's completely lined with the coach. It's just really dirty. This is also really beautiful, but this is not her size and it says it has a lot of flaws on it. So I don't know. This is cute, but again, dirty. It's definitely real like suede, but that price for the dirt, no. Sidebar, this is super cute, look. That's so awesome. Pretty pricey though, but for real leather, oh look, yeah, no. <laughs> It's a 38. Seven and a half? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not my size. All right. Done. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, there's a couple things in here for me. But I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys just what I got for me because I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got for her at the end. So I got this cute little bag, it's a nice little pouch bag, it was only $6.99, but I looked up this brand and these bags are like six, $700. So that was a score. And then I also got these and I got them in the red and the purple. They had more colors, which were definitely tempting. However, um, I just had to maintain a little self-control and I knew that the other ones were like gray, brown, and black. Those are a little bit more common, but red and purple are harder to find. So if I had to pick, I just picked the ones that were harder to find that I knew I wouldn't necessarily come across in the future. So those are the things that i got for me and i got her um a couple things that were on her board so i'm looking at everything and it's looking really good so i'm gonna go home get her box together and then i will show you guys what i ended up getting and putting together for her box based on her board Okay, you guys, these are all of the items that I have picked for her box. I'm going to go through, show you guys everything. We're going to revisit her board, and I will explain to you why I picked the items that I picked. She had quite a few pashmina type scarves on her board and where I normally am able to find them no problem. The thrift store has been really picked over lately when it comes to scarves and I'm going to say it's because the fall winter season is approaching so this is more of a focus area for people. But she did have this scarf on her board. It looked like a really nice silk neck scarf. And so I found this one right here which I thought was beautiful and perfect for her based on some other items that I put into her box. 
Now I'm gonna show you an item that I had in my mind would go really nicely with this. And it's this linen dress right here. She had quite a few dresses on her board. This one is a little bit longer. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I would say it's like ankle length if you're around my height and if you're taller this still would definitely come down to your calf and it has somewhat of a slightly tiered not tiered that's not what i'm looking for it's like a kind of a high low but not really a high low and it's just so beautiful this mustard color i felt like this could go so beautiful with it and then she could layer this over a neutral tone turtleneck that looks something like this or even black she could play off of this and do cream i just felt like this dress is a beautiful layering piece for her but it all like, sorry my cats are like <laughs> doing stuff um it's an it's a very good layering piece but it also will be great for her when it comes to the spring summer season because again it's versatile it offers versatility by her being able to layer it for the fall winter season but wear it without any layers at all if she wants for the spring summer season so these two items and this is like very heavy and weighty so it's such good quality and so beautiful these are the first two items in her box next she had a lot of neutral toned sweaters and she had a lot of creams grays beiges tans those kinds of things and she had a few like pops now the interesting thing about her board is on her form she said the colors that she hates are like pink hot pink and red but she had a few items on her board that were red so even though she had a few items on her board that was red i tried to stay away from red since she was very specific about that not being a color that she likes so i wanted to stick more towards the neutrals so for the sweaters these are the items that i got for her this one is the one that you guys saw in the thrift store that i tried on to kind of show you the fit this one is a little bit of a risk and i say it's a risk because she didn't have anything that was this shape silhouette on her board as far as sweaters goes but she had a lot of dresses that had this type of silhouette or the ruffles on her board so i felt like this was a nice little combination of some of the things she had on her board and i figured I was gonna risk it for the biscuit because this is such a cool sweater. I would totally keep this if I wasn't thrifting for her, but I just felt like it would be a great layering piece again and offer some versatility. She could even completely tie it and belt it and maybe even wear it like a dress if she wanted to. So this was one of the other items that I got her. I also had to get her this club room v-neck sweater. She was very specific about mentioning that she liked oversized things. So I wanted to get her some sweaters that were up like a size or two from what she would normally wear. And this one is gonna be a nice little oversized fit for her. Great for layering. She could layer this over a button up and do the tights kind of like some of the looks on her board. I just felt like this would offer her a lot of versatility because of the color and the silhouette. The last sweater I included for her, this is actually brand new with tags, but it was this thick chunky knit and it has more of a balloon type sleeve. There were so many sweaters on her board that had this shape silhouette. So even though this one is H&M, I just felt like I couldn't pass it up because it was too exact for some of the items that she had put on her board that she was looking for. And I did feel like, again, this is another amazing layering piece. Now for the bottoms, I only got her one pair of bottoms. She was very specific on her board about not liking denim. And I was not able to find any skirts for her. I was really looking for skirts, but they just did not have a lot to choose from this time around. Again, I think it has more to do with the fact that it is starting to be fall winter so they're not really maybe putting that many of those items out but i did find these she said she loves the like japanese kimono type styles or japanese fashion and these are some flowy like pants that have this sheer paneling on it but it's pants underneath and it is actually um i got this maybe like a size up for her i feel like these run small because this is an extra large but I tried it on myself just for reference comparing her size to mine and these were even a little bit tight on me and she's smaller than me so I feel like this will be the perfect 
oversized fit for her. It kind of gives her the vibe of a skirt, but it's actually pants. And I felt like this could go really nicely with some of the other items that were included in her box, even if she wanted to do like maybe this sweater with the pants or she could do the cream one. She could add her own like little blousey top to this. She could layer this in so many different ways. So I felt like this was a really cool versatile piece for her. I would definitely style this up with boots and I think that would look super cute. So I got this for her. And then this is a silk shirt that I felt like, hold on, let me get the scarf again. It just kind of like in these tones. This is 100% silk. I'm probably gonna steam it for her before I send it just because it's very wrinkled, but it's 95% silk, 5% um, spandex. And I feel like this is gonna be a good layering piece for her. Based on her sizing, I think this is gonna fit her perfect, but not oversized. Like this will be a perfect fit for her, but it won't fit her oversized. So she might want to use this as a layering piece and it has like a little slit on the sleeve. This could be really cute under like any number of things that we have here. So I just feel like I wanted to include this because she really wanted some silk button ups. Another item I absolutely had to include for her based on the silhouette of the dresses that she had on her board was this black label Chico's dress. And it did have this balloon sleeve that I saw a lot on her board. Again, this one was another one that I felt like was slightly a risk, but she had this kimono on her board. I'll put it right here. That was red and had a very similar pattern, but just in red. And since she said she doesn't like red, but she loves neutrals and blacks, I felt like this would be the kimono in a dress form, but in colors that she actually likes. And this one actually has the tag still attached. The original price of this was $209. So I really like to pay attention to materials when I'm doing you guys' boxes because I am very picky. So I'm not gonna send you anything cheap either. I'm very anal about materials and quality. So this is one of those items that I felt would be great quality. And it does have this ruffle detail right here, which again, she had a lot of things on her board that had ruffles. Last but not least, and the piece that I think is the best. Now she had a couple things on her board that were this tone, but she had this picture right here, which is like a green, like a forest green trench. I don't know if she put this one because maybe she already has a tan one. I don't know. This is again, another risk. But when I saw this Norma Kamali trench, I just felt like I had to get this for her because it was very similar to some of the other items that she had on her board. And even just with this picture that you see that I've inserted with the with the um, forest green trench, she could definitely do something like this and layer it up in a similar way. So I felt like that would be really cool or she could layer it up this way with the club room cotton sweater. So I just felt like it was a really cool staple piece. It's a piece that she will have forever. It's not something that's ever gonna go out of style and Norma Kamali we know is a great brand. So I wanted to include that in there for her. It did dig into her budget a little bit, but she still has a total of nine items and an accessory in this bundle. So I felt like she would be pleased with having a staple piece over two pieces that she may be over in like the next year or two. So those are the items that I included in her bundle. I hope she loves every single piece. I will be shipping it out to her. I think I might try to ship it tomorrow. Tell me your favorite piece in the bundle. And if you guys are interested in me curating a bundle for you, the link will be in my description box as well as pinned in the comments. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.